Welcome to the sleepy beach town of Lo de Marcos. Located in the state of Nayarit, on the west coast of Mexico, Lo de Marcos is located about an hour north of Puerto Vallarta, not far from some of the other towns I've been visiting on this trip, like Bucerías, San Pancho, and Sayulita. Good afternoon from a sunny, beautiful day in Lo de Marcos. This is the first time I've been to this beach town. It's a little bit north of San Pancho. So I'm excited to explore, get to the beach, eat some ceviche and uh, see what the fuss is all about. I walked from the center of town where I easily parked my rental car and strolled along the different streets towards the beach. There's a cute little plaza in the center of town with colorful lettering like many towns around Mexico as well as a bright pink and turquoise bandstand with papel picado fluttering in the sea breeze. There is some awesome street art around Lo de Marcos, and despite being a sleepy little town, there were still plenty of cafes, restaurants, and bars along the main street. But the beach is definitely the main event here. It's stunning. It was a little bit busy with domestic tourists since it's the week between Christmas and New Year, but still so much quieter when compared to Sayulita or even sleepy San Pancho. There are no big hotel chains along the front of the beach, a few houses and B&B style places, but otherwise there don't seem to be all that many hotels in the entire town, which is pretty appealing as a day trip visitor. I spent most of the morning just hanging out at the beach, swimming in the rough Pacific waves and relaxing. The waves were huge during this whole week that we were along the Riviera Nayarit, but we still dipped our toes in to cool off. Whoa, these are huge! Woo. <laughs> like dip too. Yeah. Wowza. <laughs> First impressions of Lo de Marcos is that it's definitely sleepier than a lot of the other towns that I've been to along the Riviera Nayarit. It's so beautiful, it's so laid back. There's no big condominiums or huge hotels along the front of the beach for now. There's definitely some changes happening. It looks like there's a lot of construction going on on the roads, but I think that's what keeps the beach so quiet. It's beautiful. After a fun morning, we were feeling pretty hungry, so we headed for a ceviche place that everyone promised us would be worth the walk. About 10 minutes from the beach on foot, Doña Martha is a tiny restaurant where Doña herself is serving up some of the freshest ceviche around. Lo de Marcos surprised me so much, pleasantly surprised me. I knew that it was a quiet, sleepy town, but the beach is beautiful it's so beautiful luke and i actually almost booked a couple of nights there uh, but because we were booking so late we there just wasn't anything available and i see now why because there just aren't that many places to stay but that means that it keeps it quiet there uh it keeps the beach just not anywhere near as busy as the other places along the coast so i highly recommend at least a day trip there i would love to spend a night or two there not a ton of nights i think it would get a little bit boring after a few days unless you're looking to just totally disconnect but they do have tons of taco spots tons of restaurants actually like it felt like more good restaurants there than here in Bucerias where I'm staying so yeah somewhere to definitely add to my list for a place to stay a little bit longer next time but it's definitely worth it a day trip from Sayulita or from Bucerias or even from Puerto Vallarta it's a little bit further from Puerto Vallarta but worth it for that beach it's incredible and make sure you go to Doña Martha to have the ceviche. <clears throat> Apologies for my voice, <laughs> I'm having a little bit too much Christmas fun.
I hope you enjoyed exploring Lo de Marcos with me, and indeed all of the Riviera Nayarit. If you missed any of the videos from this series, you can check out the whole playlist, which includes Sayulita, Bucerias, San Pancho, and several videos from over a week in Puerto Vallarta as well. Next week, we head to a completely new to me part of Mexico. I hope you enjoy exploring more of this magical country with me. Until then, thanks as always for watching, and I will see you next time.